everybody and welcome to Art Adventures at Home. Today we're going to be making a paper coil pot with supplies that you have at home. So first we're going to need an old catalog or a magazine, anything with glossy pages, a ruler that's about an inch wide. If you don't have a ruler, a strip of cardboard would work just as well. A spoon, you'll see what that's for later some clear tape, some white glue, which is optional, you don't have to use that, and a rubber band might be handy. So first thing we're going to do is take our magazine and we're going to tear out about 25 pages. You can tear them in small groups or all at one time, whichever works best for you. These came out pretty easy. But if you have trouble and they tear kind of like this and get jagged, that doesn't matter. I'm going to show you how you work around that. So first we're going to take, we need about 25 sheets. So I'm going to take my first piece of paper, lay it flat long ways. And I'm going to take my ruler and line that up with the edge. And fold that around. And you're wrapping your ruler all the way around. That's our first strip. Then I'm going to pull that off of the ruler, lay it flat, tuck the little edge under, and I'm going to take this spoon, and this is to make our edges nice and crisp so that this doesn't come unfolded while we're trying to do our project. Okay, let's make another one. Take our piece of paper, lay it flat. I like to look at the magazine, and if it has a pretty color pattern. I like to have that on the outside, so you're going to put that down. Okay, then line it up with our ruler. Wrap all the way around. Fold our tab under. See, and then that, that's what our strip will look like. It has that nice pattern on it. Okay, take our spoon, crease our edges. Okay, let's do one more. Then everybody should know exactly what we're doing. Okay, wrap it around. You want to keep your strips all even. That's why we're using the ruler. Because that otherwise trying to measure each one gets a little tricky. But this helps speed up the process. Okay. So we're going to make 25 of these strips. And then we have to take these and tape them together to make one long coil to make our pot. So I'm going to take one strip and another strip and lie them edge to edge. And then I'm going to take a piece of tape about 3 quarters of an inch just so it's a little smaller than how wide our strip is. And I'm going to put that right across. Then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing on the back. Try to make sure your tabs are folded down and smooth. Okay, then we're going to keep going. I'm going to take another strip, tear off a piece of tape, make sure my tab is folded under, line that up, put that there, fold it over, catch my tabs. If that keeps popping up, you can add an extra little piece of tape. And when you make the pot, you won't see this tape, so don't worry about that. And try to keep them evenly lined up. So we're going to keep going with that until we have 25 strips all together. I'm going to make a big, long coil. And I have to find the end. And I'm going to add these two strips, that I, or three strips that I just made, and I'm going to attach those. I'm going to take another piece of tape, add that, flip it over, take another piece of tape. We're always going to keep the sides with the tabs on one side and our flat smooth on the other side. This will be the outside of our pot. Okay, once we have this big long strip, we're going to find the end. And I'm going to start rolling it up into a coil. 
keep it fairly tight as you roll. Keep going. Keep going. And make sure you push it in. Keep it flat on our ends. So you want it to be nice and even. Keep rolling it. See how it will start to stick out? You can push that flat again. Push it against the table. We're going to try to keep our tabs in. Make sure everything's laying smooth. I'm going to keep going and keep it. You can hold, pinch it with your fingers in the middle and pull so that it's nice and tight. And keep going. You're going to keep going until you get a piece, a coil, that's about, about three inches in diameter. The bigger, the more strips you use, the bigger pot you can make. This one's going to make one that's about three inches wide. This was a much bigger one. I used 75 strips to make this pot. So the more strips you do, the, more, the taller it will be and the wider you can make it. But this is good for just learning 25 strips. So, sometimes it's a little hard to hold this coil. That's where we're going to use our rubber band. We'll put that around the outside. And you can make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to tear off a piece of tape. And I'm just going to secure this top edge. Just like that. Okay. Now comes the shaping part. So I'm going to, I want the base to be about this big. So I'm going to put my thumbs here and start pulling up and pushing down that center part, but raising up the rest of this. You can go slow because you don't want it to pop out anywhere. Keep shaping it. And there you have it. You can keep working this and make them as even as you want, or you could go up as tall as you want. If when you start it you don't like it and you want it to be a little bigger, just add more strips. You can add more strips at any time. That's what I kept doing with this one, so you can see the difference. The next optional step is you can take white glue, put a little on your finger and smear it around on the inside and a little on the outside, and this will keep it in its shape and then let that dry. If you don't want to do that, you can keep it just like this, and at any time you can just carefully press that back down, and then you can keep reshaping it whenever you want. And then once you finally get to a shape you like and want to keep forever, then you put glue on it. It's easy, and it's, it's forgiving. It's not going to you know, get messed up. If, if it does unravel, then you just ravel it back up again. Easy peasy. So this is how you make a paper coil pot. And you can make them any size you want. You're, you're only limited by how many strips you want to make or how many magazines you have. Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see my upcoming projects, please subscribe to my page. Have a great day, and I hope you join me for my next adventure.